Hey guys, what's up? My name is Caitlin. I'm a grad student, and this is Mike. He's also a grad student. And then we have a third member of our team, Alex, who also a grad student, who can be here with us today. So most of you know that um, the university has recently switched from um, the C tools and webmail servers over to an entire Google suite. And this is to facilitate more collaborative online interaction. But one of the issues that has come up is that the, many aspects of the Google suite are not accessible to people with disabilities. So, um, and that's not just a university issue. In fact, many other Big Ten schools have this problem as well. And so, um, indeed, this group, um, the Access Technology for Higher Education Network, is um, a nonprofit group that looks at disability best practices. And they even went through and identified um, some of the issues that their users with disabilities identified um, when using the Google Suite, particularly Google Docs. And so, um, one thing that we focused on specifically was when users enter into high contrast mode. So, um, on the Mac, you can, go, you can access um, these modes via the universal access menu. And so, if you watch the document menu bar up there, um, where there you see that the buttons become, um, and the buttons below, they become a little bit harder to read, and then you can't see where your mouse is selected. So that's one issue. And then um, if we go over to another more worldwide um, global interaction scale, you can see that the Facebook buttons for your notifications and the messages and so forth also don't show up. They disappear in this mode. And so we wanted to make um, some sort of web overlay to allow uh, users that interact in this mode or have visual impairments to be able to uh, use these collaborative documents more effectively. So we played around with a, a lot of ideas during the first eight hours of the design competition. So we pl played around with like haptic feedback or other user interfaces using like swipe gestures and stuff like that. We found uh, hardware can be expensive, can be cumbersome. The easiest and cheapest way is if we can just do it in software, whether through keyboard or through sound. So we've uh, used the Grease Monkey plugin for Firefox. If you're familiar with it, it allows you to inject JavaScript into every any web page that's loaded. So we've uh, injected JavaScript into the Google Documents and Facebook web pages so that when we mouse over them, we now form boxes around every kind of important button. Uh, and actually, both Facebook and Google use uh, certain tags in their uh, CSS or the HTML to allow us to identify which buttons are kind of most important and which ones are just kind of like icons that are, are not so much uh, used. So when we mouse over, especially those three buttons, if you're familiar, you probably memorize what those three are without even seeing them. But if you're blind, you might not be able to, uh, to know that right away that there's even buttons there. We've also, uh, we, we did have a hardware hack where we could uh, use an accelerometer to swipe through, but we had some problems interfacing that with Mac, so there were some issues there. So I'll pass it back to Caitlin. Yeah, so finally, um, obviously there's a lot of things we want to add to this. We managed to kind of at the last minute add a, a keyboard functionality so you can click through um, using the arrow keys, so making that a little bit easier to access. Um, additionally, we're looking at adding in sound to, the, to implement so you can have like a chirp when you're over a certain button. Um, but mostly, we just wanted to draw attention to the fact that these uh, high-tech companies are creating these great technologies that are really useful for some users, but really shun uh, the rest of the population. So, thank you. Any questions? How possible is it to generalize this across websites? You mentioned there was a tag or something like that, the important things had on these two websites. So it is as easy as if the website happens to have this tag, I add a magic string that says Facebook, Facebook tag, and your plugin just works. It all just kind of goes and magic. Yeah, so it's a little bit different um, per website, but basically it's clued into the HTML. So we have them look, we have it parsed through div tags and then look for just button strings. So anything that's identified as a button. So it should be overall pretty streamlined. We tested it on Amazon as well, um, and it works for most of the parts, but a little buggy. We played around some other ideas of just like things that are clickable or that have hover over things already, um, and whether or not it's big or small, something that's probably the size of an icon. Uh, with in the time crunch, the tags was easiest. Did you have a chance to see if anybody else is doing something similar like this? Yeah, so we, we Googled around a little bit, um, but it doesn't really seem like it. So the thing is, you would hope that Google itself is working on these projects, but of course there are thousands of accessibility issues. So because this one is pretty straightforward, um, we just decided to tackle it at the hackathon. All right, I guess we're done. Thank you. Thanks.